is uh, Shanzai.com here back with our iPad Diaries and we're on Friday which is a bit of a busy day for us today so uh, unfortunately I didn't have time for a long video but I thought what I'd do quickly is kind of take a look at uh, the internet experience and surfing around Safari for you. A lot of people uh, will be wondering about how the web browser works and uh, in fact uh, I think the web surfing experience on the iPad is pretty good, but there are a few shortcomings you need to be aware of. It is not the full web experience, if only because uh, there is no browser on your PC or uh, even on a, an ARM-based device like the uh, iPad, which actually can give you all websites. We all have had problems with different websites, but the iPad has its own particular set of foibles using its Safari uh, web browser and the iPad ARM architecture, which notably and arguably is the big issue in the news doesn't support. Flash. So, of course, when you have your vanity device and you start web surfing, one of the first things you do is you, you go and surf to your own website. So, we'll bring up Shanzai.com here on the device. Um, the speed of the connection here and the device rendering is probably more affected by our network. We have a, we've seen our videos of a notoriously bad network here, but the, um, the, de the device actually loads fairly quickly the web pages. And this is the Shanzai.com site coming up now to one of our articles, uh, actually the, the first uh, article about our, our first look at the iPad, and pretty much because we don't have a lot of flash, except for, with the exception of the Google ad, which you can see up here in the top, which is uh, actually still animated, so maybe it's not a, a flash ad. Uh, the entire page renders well. It fits nicely, especially in the horizontal mode for our site. We've got a, a pretty much a standard sized website. You can still do commenting and filling all the form fields easily. Uh, like I say, it's, it's actually a beautiful device for viewing web content. If you uh, double tap any particular part of the screen, it has the typical Apple Intuitive interface where it will highlight and bring that particular piece of content even more into view. And, uh, and enlarge the font size and make it much more easily readable. So, say you want to get over to one of the, the side menus here. Sorry. If you want to just focus on that content, you can bring that into play. So, let's go back down and bring the entire page into view. Not so bad. But what I've done is uh, loaded up, preloaded up quite a few pages for you to examine. There are going to be times when you're going to have problems. And when you have problems, it'll be again when you have a site that has got some flash on it. So the BBC website is not a heavy flash website for news, for instance, but down here on the right-hand corner, you won't be able to watch the video because they use a flash player for their media. So unfortunately, there's a nice little error message here that tells you that you, uh, you can't uh, view that particular item. However, there are some more subtle places we're on the Gigabyte website, which has a flash banner at the top of their websites. So this big bald spot you're seeing here in the middle of their website is actually a place where a flash banner that they typically have is there. But there is no error message. So often, sometimes when you're viewing and surfing around, you're not even aware that you're actually missing flash content, depending on the website you've laid out. Now, because there's a big bald spot there on the Gigabyte site, it's pretty obvious so you can tell. Um, in your worst case scenario, you can go to the HBO website in the US, which is one of the famous ones, and it's got a little uh, notice right at the top that's saying, this is HBO is now a flash site, your device does not support flash, please choose from one of the following options. So they have a mobile phone version and whatnot. But you actually can't go or view at all the HBO website, which is completely made of flash. Strangely, on the other hand, if you go to the HBO website in Asia, it's actually a... Uh, a fully viewable website and they happen to use Apple's QuickTime format for their videos. So if you want to watch a video preview within the page, there's no problem on the HBO website. In fact, it looks quite good, probably almost better than it does on my PC. So HBO maybe has got to get their, <laughs> their shit together and figure out whether they're going to support Flash or not, but apparently in the US they don't. Here in Asia where the iPad is not available yet, they do support Flash, so it is a bit of a strange conundrum. Um, the last one, we go to our sister website, uh, howtobemobile.com. We have, haven't uh, talked about that too much on Shenzai, but we do have this another website that where we talk about uh, mobility tips and how to use your iPad and other tablet devices as well that we get to work with. Now, this site rendering a little bit slowly. Again, I think it's more the network. You saw some of the other sites uh, weren't having that problem popping up so quickly. This site has very minimal flash on it. Um, the 
so it's pulling in nicely there now. But it also gives you an error message when there's not a flash. So sometimes you'll see the flash not support with an obvious statement by the people who built the site. You get the typical go get the Adobe Flash correct flash pair error that you get when you're on your regular PC on some sites, and on some sites you won't get any error message at all. You'll have no idea that you're missing flash content. Other than that, as I were saying, highlighting on a particular section of the site is simple and easy. The surfing times are reasonably fast. The, the colors are super uh, vibrant. The actual display of the, the is basically the entire experience of the iPad is fantastic. So the websites they do look great. And if you're reading news sites and whatnot, you'll find it really is like holding a slightly heavier newspaper, and it is quite convenient. Magazine, newspaper site, news type sites, the iPad is fantastic.